Hi, um, this is somewhat of a video response to a video that Fortune Cookie just did on testing lead hardness with a very traditional method using a thumbnail test, which is a useful thing to know. However, there is an inexpensive and much more precise method that you might not know about. Uh, if you've ever done rock collecting or taken a geology class, you know that one reliable way of assessing material strength is comparing it to another substance of known hardness. And there is a great thing that we all have access to. Art pencils um, have actually been regulated for very precise hardness for a very long time. Um, I think it's like an ASTM certification, I forget. But the point is, they're actually very consistent, particularly if you buy from a name brand. And um, a guy, I can't remember his name right now, um, but I will put a link to his original thread on the Cast Bullets forum did an excellent study where he took a bunch of known hardness samples of lead and compared them to different art pencils and essentially came up with a chart so you can compare your pencils to your lead and um, this is this will get you within about one B, um, BHN plus or minus of the actual hardness of lead. Um, the things you need to know are consistent practices because your you are a variable in the process. So the thing is, you need to do it consistently every time the same way or you will get an inaccurate reading. Um, before we get to the process, I'd like to mention another advantage of it. One significant advantage is that you can get a packet of um, like 12 or 16 different steps of art pencils from a name brand like Stadler for 12 to 16 dollars at Office Depot or Amazon. I'll put a link to some on Amazon down, uh, well actually right there. That's where the link will be. And also in the description down below, as well as to the original thread on Caspians. So let's look at the procedure. Um, first of all, you need to take your pencils and file the point off so that it is, I'm stepping in so you can get a good look. This is a big fat pencil. But you want it to be cylindrical with a sharp edge and a level end. Um, I find the quickest way to do that is to drag it against a file, like so, and then roll it like this on the edge. This one has a little bit of wood hanging on it. And uh, touch it up if you ever round the edge. Um, other people will do it on a sandpaper, and they'll use a square to hold it perfectly level. The point is a different angle will change um, your results. Now, once you've done that, what you need to do is find a flat spot on your piece of lead that you want to assess and it needs to be an area where it's not porous and such as the base of the bullet if you most bullets have a sprue on the base or the tip the sprue end is more likely to be porous so you want to avoid that so file a flat spot on the side like I've done with this bullet here I don't know if that shows but just take a bastard file file it flat now the technique is you hold your pencil at a 45 degree angle to the surface and push with moderate pressure and if you can see this one did not cut we're not looking for it to scratch it we want it to actually cut into the metal so I'm pushing down and forward while holding my angle consistent and I want to use the same pressure with each pencil and um, so I knew that that one didn't do it that was number 6B which is the softest um, I will put a chart down below in the description of the known hardnesses. So this one I've chosen is number B. It also does not cut. And let's find one that's... So I would expect HB, which roughly corresponds to 15 BHN, I'm expecting will cut this. And it does. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to pull up close and maybe you'll see a little shaving curl. See that? Well, hopefully at some point this is in focus, but I, there should be two little curls you can see visible. So the first pencil that cuts is the hardness. And what I've done, I'll hold this here so you can see, I've taken my pencil box and I've put the chart of known hardnesses and also some different alloys that, that corresponds to taken from the thread 
And also, I've cross-verified several of these with a Lee hardness tester that I subsequently got. But you can see how I've done that. And uh, one of the most useful things to know is the very common number two pencil, which corresponds to F, is 15 to 18 BHN. So, um, you can get yourself a little golf pencil and keep it in your glove box of your car or in your pocket. And if you go to a garage sale or range and come across a source of lead and you want to know what it is, now you can find out. So, um, or some guy on Craigslist or something is selling um, ingots. Well, if you have an ingot you don't know, uh, air-cooled range scrap is about 10 BHN. Um, and when you water quench it, it will come to about 12, which is about okay for most moderate pistol loads, which fortune cookie referred to as cowboy loads. Um, this is, for example, some linotype spacer. It's pretty common to use pure linotype for the spacers, but sometimes they also use diluted with pure lead or even just pure lead. Well, um, let's find out what this is. I got a whole bucket of this for 60 cents a pound a while ago, and it cuts with HB. So let's move down to the next one, B. It does not cut with B. Let's flip that. There's, okay, yeah. So it looks like this is HB. So this is right at about 15 BHN for this stick of it. And if I sample through the whole bucket that came from the same source, I can um, average it down. Um, so there you go. Um, here is a cast lead 7 8 cent slug that should be mostly pure. Um, pure would be about 6B on the scale. It has a little bit of that range scrap in it, so let's find out what it actually is. And it is harder than 5B. And it's harder than 4B. And it almost wants to cut at 3B. So it's probably going to be 2. Yeah. So it looks like this is 2B. Um, so it's quite a bit harder than I thought it was. Now I know. I'm not too worried about that, but it's good to know, especially if you ever are firing something like that through a choke. Uh, I'll wrap the video up. I think you can see what you need to know. I'll give more quick tips later.